Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. So today I have another recent reads video for you for numbers 121 to 130. End of May into June, we're getting there. So let's just jump right in. The first book I read was Buried in a Good Book. This is the first book in the By the Book mystery series by Tamara Berry. This was so much fun. So we follow best-selling thriller writer Tess Harrow, and she brings her teenage daughter with her to her grandfather's rustic cabin in the woods, and she's hoping that it's a time for them to bond and heal after Tess's recent divorce. However, <laughs> They've barely gotten in the door when there's an explosion and all of a sudden the cabin shakes and it's raining fish guts and some body parts. Things go from there. So now she's thrust into a murder investigation. People are saying that Bigfoot has been spotted near her cabin. <laughs> the local sheriff is really, really similar to Tess's police detective in her books and it's just full of so many shenanigans. It's so much fun. It's hilarious. I highly recommend this series and I'm really looking forward to reading the second book. I gave this one five out of five stars. Next I read The Legend of Sleepy Harlow. This is book number three in the League of Literary Ladies series by Kylie Logan. And this is set in October, runs an inn, and there are some ghost hunters that come to the island because the South Base Island has its own headless legend and it's of a prohibition bootlegger named Charlie Sleepy Harlow who was decapitated by rival rum runners. And so now they say that Harlow appears once a year in spectral form to search for his head. And there's a murder involved and things go from there. I really enjoy the series. Each book is based around the books that the characters are reading. So in this one they're reading The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. And so the mystery that they're solving is similar to that. And I just really enjoy the setting. I think it's a really fun series. So I gave that one four out of five stars. Next, I read The Stardust Thief by Chelsea Abdullah. This was such a good debut and such a good start to a new series. So this is kind of a retelling of Thousand and One Nights or it's inspired by the stories in that book. And there's a legendary smuggler, a cowardly prince, there's a quest across the desert to find a magical lamp. The characters are so fantastic. I loved the world building in this. And it was so well done. And I was able to see everything in my mind and envision the characters. There's Jin. There's illegal magic. It was so good. I gave it four out of five stars. I'm really excited for the next one uh, because the ending was kind of a cliffhanger and I need answers like yesterday. Next I read Knit or Die Trying, which is book two in the Riverbank Knitting Mystery Series by Allie Pleader. And once again, we're following Libby Beckett and she owns a yarn shop. There is a yarn event that is an alternative option to a foodie weekend that is going on. First, like a flock of sheep parade down the street that are protesting this artisan fiber dyers anti-wool viewpoints. And then the dyer sister shows up and there's a rivalry and it's kind of wacky and then a murder happens. It was kind of weird, but kooky and I gave it three out of five stars. Not my favorite, but it was an entertaining read. Next, I read Bayou Book Thief, which is book one in the Vintage Cookbook Mystery Series by Ellen Byron. 
This was set in Nolens, Louisiana. And we follow 28-year-old widow Ricky James. And she has left Los Angeles to start a new life in New Orleans after her husband dies doing a stupid internet stunt. She was originally born and adopted in New Orleans, so she's kind of coming home. She joins the staff of Bonvi Culinary House Museum, and it's a former Garden District home of a city's legendary restaurateur. Ricky enjoys collecting vintage cookbooks, so she's really excited to bring that to this museum and really turn her passion into a business. Then she discovers that a box of donated vintage cookbooks contains the body of a cantankerous bon vie employee who was fired after being exposed as a book thief, and things go from there. I thought this was so well done. It was such a fun start, and I love that Ellen Byron really captured the eclectic setting and the personalities of the city of New Orleans and the food. The mystery had really good plot twists. There were some really good red herrings, and I really liked the side stories that were woven into the story, and the ending had a really good twist, and I really need book two because I need to know what happens. So I highly recommend that one. It was fantastic. Next, I read Petals and Poison, which is book two in the Flower House Mystery Series by Jess Dillon. We follow Sierra Ravenswood, and she owns a flower shop, gets involved with a murder. Things go from there. Once again, not my favorite series, but it was a fun time. I gave it three out of five stars, and I continued on with the series. Next, I read Booked for Murder by J.C. Eaton. This is book one in the Sophie Kimball mystery series. So we follow Sophie Kimball, and she is a divorced middle-aged mom, and she's an account clerk for a police department in Minnesota. And her retired mother, Harriet, is convinced that her daughter is the only one who can solve the mystery of a cursed book. And according to her mother, four members of her mother's book club have died because of the curse. And so she insists that her daughter comes to her retirement community in Arizona to investigate. And her mother also has a long-haired tweeny named Streetman, who is hilarious. And she also has her book club group of friends. I have not laughed out loud at a book like this in so long. It was so freaking funny. The characters are so quirky and realistic and they just get into the wildest shenanigans and it's such a good time. I gave it five out of five stars and I definitely continued on with the series. Next I read Fatal Flowers, which is book three in the Flower House mystery series. I gave that one three out of five stars. It was a good cozy, but not my favorite. Next I read Booked for Death, which is book one in the Book Lovers B&B Mysteries by Victoria Gilbert. Um, so in this one, it's set in North Carolina and Chapters Bed and Breakfast is the setting. Main character is Charlotte Reed and she inherited the B&B from her great aunt. And she gets involved in a murder mystery. Things go from there. Um, I really didn't find Charlotte a likable protagonist, and it was kind of a struggle to get through this one, to be honest. I ended up giving it 3.5 stars because I did like the writing style, and I thought the mystery was pretty good, but um, Charlotte was just really irritating to me. And to end on a high note, I read The Discord of Gods, which is the fifth and final book in the A Chorus of Dragons series. I will link my series review down below. It's so good. It's one of my favorite series. And this has one of the most epic, satisfying conclusions to a series that I've ever read. Love the characters, love their relationships, love the witty banter. 
and it was just so well done and I cannot wait to see what Jen Lyons does next because she has become an autobi author for me. Sorry. So have you read any of these books? If so, please let me know down below. If you'd like to leave an emoji just to let me know you're here, leave a purple heart emoji down below. As always, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button if you'd like. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.